If you want an easy way to invest in 2021 that is less risky with guaranteed average returns of 10%, then listen on. Hello, my name is Iman. I have a mathematics bachelor's from Bath University and I've been working in fintech for over four years, specifically in electronic trading. If you are interested in improving your financial literacy and building your wealth, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be talking about the simplest, easiest way to invest in 2021. But before we get into that, what two things do you need to do before you start investing? To be a smart investor, and before you can even think about putting your money in the stock market, there are a couple of things that you need to do to protect your wealth. The first thing is to make sure to pay off all of your debt. Number two is to build out an emergency cash fund. An emergency fund is normally six months of your income and that's saved in your bank account. The reason being is that if you were to lose your job tomorrow or something propped up that you had to pay off, you would have an emergency fund that would allow you to do so. Investing is for the long haul, so you do not want to touch your investment for a long period of time. Once you have paid off your debt and you've built out this emergency cash fund, you are ready to start investing. The best way to invest in 2021 is to invest in the S&P 500 ETF, either a lump sum or a portion of your income every month. So what is the S&P 500? The S&P 500 is comprised of the largest 500 leading US companies. The top 10 include Apple, Microsoft, Procter & Gamble, Johnson, Visa, Berkshire Hathaway, Facebook and Alphabet. And I'm sure you recognize at least some of the names. By investing in this index, in this ETF, you get exposure to all of the US market. An ETF is an exchange traded fund which gives you the ability to gain exposure to all of these companies and stocks without buying all of these underlying stocks individually. So the question is why? Why would you invest your money in the S&P 500? Let's look at the historical chart of the S&P 500. Looking at the graph, since its inception, the absolute value of the index has gone up. So if you invested in the S&P 500 five years ago, say $1,000, the value of that would now be $1,900. That's a return of 90% or 14% compounded annually over the five years. That's a pretty good return because if you left that $1,000 in your bank, it would actually be worth less now than five years ago. This is because of inflation and low saving interest rates in bank accounts. Now let's say you bought the index just before the crash of 2008 here, or when the markets tanked after Corona. If you kept it long enough, you would still see a significant return on your investment. And if you invest every month, you average the cost of your investment irrespective of what the market does. The key takeaway from this is that you should see this as a long-term game to grow your money. In the words of famous investor Warren Buffett, our favorite holding period is forever. Bottom line is the S&P 500 is less risky because you're diversifying across different industries and established companies. For me, I I love this type of investing because it takes out all of the headache of trying to understand the markets, trying to understand what the industries are doing, and to see whether your stock choice was a good investment. It's super simple, and what's more is that an ETF has very, very low fees. This low commission is much less than any mutual fund that you will trade. A mutual fund is someone that's actively choosing stocks, is actively managing a portfolio, and there are large fees associated with this. But with an ETF, that goes all away. This strategy is a passive way of investing so you save money on fees. The US has the largest economy and stock market in the world. It's pretty robust and it's full of innovation, which means great returns for yourself. The only risk that I can see is if the whole of the US market crashes, every large company in the US goes bankrupt, and this scenario would only happen in an apocalypse type scenario. If this happened, you would have far more problems to worry about, like surviving the zombie invasion or just surviving the end of the world rather than your investment portfolio. So there are a few ways to invest in the S&P 500 ETF. There are a lot of online brokers. The one I use is Interactive Investors. I use this one because it's much cheaper than Hargreaves Lansdowne or AJ Bell. Plus you get a free trade every month. So I did some research on the best online brokers in 2021 and these were ones that came on top. TD Armatrade is best overall for beginners. Fidelity is great because of the research that you get. Charles Schwab, 
best for IRA accounts. E-Trade is the best web platform. Interactive Brokers is best for professionals or the more advanced investor. Trade and TradeStation is the best trade technology. I would warn you against online brokers that have no commission or whatsoever. Like Robinhood, you've seen what's happened in the press. They are being sued a lot of money because they have been lying to their customers and have actually been taking some fees and haven't been giving them the best price when they're trading on their platform. Now, once you've made an account on an online broker, you want to get the right ETF. The main ETFs to trade are the Spider S&P 500 ETF with the ticker SPY. This has the most assets in that ETF. Fees are a bit more expensive than the other ETFs. IVV is the iShares, which is BlackRock's ETF. That one is another good one to trade. The Vanguard S&P 500 ETF is also another good one with ticker VOO. The one I invest in is the Vanguard ETF with ticker VUSA. That's listed on the London Stock Exchange and it's the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So to start with, I would go for either the iShares, the Vanguard or the Spider ETF. The SPY is the top ETF that most people go for. So if you are confused on which one to get, I would recommend that. If you found this video useful and want to learn more about growing your income and trading, do smash the like button and let me know in the comments what you want to learn next. Thanks guys, I will see you in the next video.